everyone and welcome to the Verizon Racing League's broadcast of the Amp Energy Cup Series Can-Am Duel 2 at Daytona. It's 10 laps under the lights with 20 cars. We already saw Michael McDowell put on a dominating performance in Duel 1, take the victory there. And now it's time for Duel 2 with the other half of the field. Once again, just a practice race to let these guys get a good feel for what the Daytona 500 will be. They did not make the clash. Speaking of the clash, the winner of that race, the 43 Darrell Walsh Jr. will be in this race, starting from the sixth position. We'll track his progress through the night and see if he can get another one down here at Speed Weeks as they're getting ready to uh, get the command of fire engines, and then we'll give you the starting lineup. Drivers, start your engines! Well, now it's time for the starting lineup on the pole. Once again, two fours. We have Kevin Harvick and then Michael McDowell's teammate, David Reagan, in the 38. We'll have to see how fast that 38 car is. If anything like the 34, we might see Front Row Motorsports sweep the duels. Uh, then Daniel Suarez and Martin Truex Jr., a pair of Toyotas in row two. And then row three is made up of Kyle Busch and the Clash winner, Darrell Walls Jr. You have two, perhaps the two best cars uh, in the Clash, Kyle Busch and Darrell Walls Jr., both uh, in row three. Austin Dillon and Timmy Hill make up row four. And then rounding out the top ten, we have teammates um, at JTG Daughtery Racing, Chris Buescher and A.J. Allmendinger. Then 11th and 12th, we have two forwards, Kurt Busch and Matt DiBenedetto. 13th and 14th, Brad Keselowski and Alex Bowman. Then we have Ryan Newman and Ryan Blaney, both the Ryans, and D.J. Kennington and Ty Dillon. And then rounding out the field, we have Casey Kane and Derek Cope. We'll have to see if David Reagan can put on just as dominating a, report of a performance as his teammate did, but he'll be, he won't be starting on the pole. That is award is Kevin Harvick's. But the last race is under caution with a caution with signal coming for just four laps to go. They weren't able to get the race restarted, and that gave an automatic victory to the 35. We'll have to see what, if the same thing happens in this race. Pace car has just peeled off as they're getting set to go green here at Daytona. Green flag for Duel 2. Great start by Kevin Harvick. Out of the turn one. Almost clear David Reagan for the lead as they're already three wide in the back. Man, Chris Buescher making up a lot of time. Now he's getting help from his teammate in the 47, A.J. Allmendinger. Now Toyota teammates, and oh man, big push for Suarez from Kyle Busch. Suarez to the lead. Now Suarez looks like he's gonna give the lead to Kyle Busch. Austin, yep, Austin Dillon is going to take it three wide for the lead. Saw so Kyle's teammate, Denny Hamlin, get turned while battling for second earlier. I'll have to see if he has any luck. As, man, Chris Buescher has a strong car as he is shoving it in the middle, stuffing it up in there between drivers left and right. As now he's he might be, yep, he's going for second as Kurt Busch goes for the lead with help from A.J. Allmendinger. Now Chris Busch is going to pass Austin Dillon. Great run for that team. It's now Almendinger to the outside. This is some crazy racing. Now there's three wide again for second with Ryan Newman going for the spot. Heading into turn one. Now it looks like Newman might try to go for the lead. Yes, he will. Newman to the inside of Kurt Busch for the lead. They just keep cycling it around. Chris Busch is still in the middle. Now 
Wow, he's going to try to squeeze it in underneath the 40, the 41. He's going to do that. Chris Buescher continuing to just stay right in the middle with help from Darrell Wallace Jr. Now here comes Casey Kane. I believe that is Derek Cope in the 99 down there as well. Casey Kane now going to get passed by Derek Cope. Three wide, well, not three wide, but still two wide for second place. They're getting dicey back and at the back even with Kyle Busch and Daniel Suarez trying to get linked up to get back up to the front. Both of them were leading at some point earlier in the race as now Derek Cope's going to surrender the inside second place to Ty Dillon. RCR affiliated teams, 1-2 now as well scratched at, well, Ty Dillon's going to block Truex, thought he was going to be able to go to the inside, but now Blaney's going to try to pass Truex. Chris Buescher got shuffled to the outside. Now Darrell Wallace Jr. leading the charge in the middle groove. Ryan Newman still leading with help from Ryan Blaney and Alex Bowman, but they just got a big run. Now Bowman's going to go under Blaney, and here comes the 66. Timmy Hill. Now Kevin Harvick's going to go underneath of Timmy Hill. A lot of passing going on. Look at this, Kyle Busch has almost cycled all the way back up to the front again. As now it looks like Harvick will go for the lead. Kyle Busch from Kyle Busch. The caution comes out now, the race is over. Oh, and just as I say that, we got one around in the back. I believe they will be racing back to, never mind, pace car lights are not on. We stay green. We'll have to see if the 96 can get it gathered up before they get back around. It looks like he will, but that really messed up Casey Kane and Derek Cope. As now here comes Austin Dillon for the lead underneath the Kyle Bush with help from Daniel Suarez and AJ Allmendinger. Now here comes Suarez for the lead. It's getting extremely dicey up here. There's all the smoke they're going to have to drive through down the back stretch. After the race or under the next caution, we will um, we'll take a look at what happened the 96. But A.J. Allmendinger are now going to the lead. Push. Pushing's just getting way too out of oh, way over out of hand now. As Kurt Busch now going to pass A.J. Allmendinger. With help from Allmendinger's teammate, Chris Buescher. And now Busch is going to take it three wide. We saw him being aggressive earlier, and he's still aggressive. Some exciting action here. And it's just two and a half to go. Not many more laps left in this. Look at this. Ty Dillon maybe trying to make a late race charge. 78 to Truex, and then you have Kislowski up there. If this thing continues to cycle like it is now, Truex, three wide for second. Now it's down to two wide, but Darrell Wallace Jr. is still fighting in that middle groove, trying to get to the front. Now he's going to get shuffled to the outside. And now Ty Dillon going for second. Two to go in duel two at Daytona. seems to be able to get up to the 13's bumper here. These guys know there could be a caution that could come out any second here. So they have to be as frantic as possible. Now Bowman to the outside of Ty Dillon. Not sure why he made that move. The inside has been the best line all night. Ty Dillon trying to get by. The 37 of Chris Buescher. But now the 66 of Timmy Hill will go underneath of him for position. With help from Matt DiBenedetto. This is a topsy-turvy race here at Daytona. White flag is out. 
One to go. You can see David Reagan changing lanes there. Looks like this, the 96 will not affect the finish as now here comes Matt Benedetto for second. Do we have enough time to get by Chris Busher? We talked about him being aggressive earlier in the race. Benedetto's there, but it's not going to happen. Off the corner, Chris Busher is going to win Duel 2 in Daytona. What a finish. They kept trading around for second so much. They had just gotten a big push together. They might have been able to get to him, but they weren't. Now that it's over, we'll take a look at the crash that happened to the 96, and then we'll give you the finishing order. DG Kennington was having a decent race. Maybe not the best of races, but decent run here with five to go. Right at the marker. Maybe NASCAR would have thrown a caution if there, had, you know, if it wasn't five to go. But, oh yeah, Derek Cope got turned by Casey Kane. Similar fashion to what happened um, to Denny Hamlin. 55 got into him. Go on board, DJ Kennington. <laughs> Nothing else you can do in that case except just hold the brake. Well, there you have it, folks. Give you the finishing order. Chris Buescher wins this race, and then Matt Benedetto second. Great run for that team, well, those teams, as Ryan Blaney picks up third. Fourth is Kyle Busch, and the fifth is David Reagan. So front row got a first and a fifth. Timmy Hill in the 66 got sixth. Seventh was Chris Buescher's teammate, A.J. Allmendinger. Eighth was pole sitter Kevin Harvick. Ninth was Harvick's teammate, Kurt Busch. And tenth is uh, Daniel Suarez. Eleventh place was Ty Dillon. He was in second place, I believe, coming to the white flag, if I'm not mistaken. Then Ryan Newman, who led a few laps today, the 12th, 13th was Austin Dill oh, I mean, um, Alex Bowman. 14th was Darrell Wallace Jr. They really got shuffled to the back. And he was in the, stuck in the middle for a long while during this race. Brad Kozlowski got 15th. 16th was Martin Truex. 17th was a um, Austin Dillon. 18th and 19th were guys that are um, two cars that got involved in a wreck. Derek Cope and Casey Kane. And then you have DJ Kennington. Great run by Chris Buescher's team. You can see Mark Truex lost 12 spots. Getting a 16th place finish. There's the end of Duel 2 at Daytona. Setting us up for the Daytona 500. Coming out this Sunday. So in the Verizon Racing League broadcast of the Infinity Cup Series. We'll see you on uh, Sunday. It's one of five hundred.